under, I cannot stress enough how angry people are with the U.S. government's unilateral role. And it's not just a few people. If you talk to folks that are not involved in this process at all, they have a clue about it, and they, they do understand that there is, um, the U.S. does have this unilateral role. Uh, I don't have so much of a, a question, because I don't want to put you on the spot, and I know you can't give us a roadmap, but I would encourage you and Fiona and Larry to try and come up with something that you can share with the rest of the world, a roadmap. This is what we're going to, to do for the next 20 years. This is what we think the next decade will hold in terms of the U.S. role uh, in regards to ICANN. That alone, I think, would go a long way towards um, alleviating some of the pressure. I mean, for those of you who don't know, very few of you, I imagine, this issue is what drove a lot of the WISIS program and the IGF program. People in other countries are trying to find a way to make this unilateral role more multilateral. And I understand you'd like to make it multi-stakeholder. Um, I guess my point is, if you can get out in front of this, and share as much as you can. I know you've been uh, more open and transparent in the last few years, and that's great. Uh, but that is not just not satisfying a lot of people in other parts of the world.